Okay, so before we can even begin our project, we're going to need a subject to test our rigging skills on. And what better to test your rigging skills on than animals? So I came here to the model resource and I'm in the Nintendo section and they have quite a few dogs and cats for us to experiment on. Um, I'm going to choose, uh, since we did in our, our previous one, we had the Shiba Inu already, we did the Corgi, we got the Husky, um, something with a nice easy skeleton. Who would we choose? What about the Labrador Retriever? Oh, yeah, there's a difference between a Labrador Retriever and a Golden Retriever. I remember somebody, alright, the Golden Retriever has a, a cuter head. Oh, and a nice little tail. Alright, so we are going to use this Golden Retriever right here. And that's going to be our test subject. So I'm going to download it. I'm going to pause it because my computer makes a loud blum sound whenever I finish downloading it. And it's not pleasant to listen to. So I will be right back. Oh my god, it was super quiet. <laughs> Alright, so we have our dog. And we're going to put this on our desktop. Which is going to be our works folder. So we're going to extract it. I'm going to stare blankly at my computer waiting for it to pop up. There we go. Alright, so this is going to be our project folder. It has all the dogs, everything. It's model, it's shade, and all the rest of that fun stuff. Now, I would advise against you trying to turn these into a commercial enterprise. Because I already plan on rigging all of these dogs for free. So, no matter how much work you put into it, Zero's going to have it up on there for free. So, keep that in mind. So um, we're going to click on our project folder and we're going to open up our first blender. And our first blender is going to be 2.72 with Avastar 1.71. With it open, I'm going to clear out the um, type my display so you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm going to clear our workspace by pressing A a few times until everything is highlighted and then press delete and hit OK. The first thing we need to do is bring in our model. So we need a file, import, I believe it was an OBJ. Just, whoops, let's try that one more time. Alright, there we go. Here's our dog. And you see our dog is inside here. But the dog comes in and it's pretty huge. We're going to have to scale it down so that we can actually get it into puppy size. So what we need to do is bring in an avatar and use that as our scale. So let's come on down here to the bottom and go to another layer. And we're going to add in our avatar. Triangles, quads, it matters not. We're not using the body. We just have the rig. And I don't want to use only rig because I like to see where the legs and stuff are on the avatar and that makes it easier to scale down how tiny the puppy is going to be. So this is a normal standard second life character in theory um, and regular units because you know second life avatars are like huge but this is a good ruler to use for the normal suggested size of an avatar. So we have our avatar and we're going to hold down shift and we're going to go over to our puppy layer. And with our puppy already selected, we're going to press the S key. And we're just going to scale him down until he gets down to something uh, that is what you think a puppy should be. I like to keep it somewhere like just below where his heads come just below the knees. That's usually how big I think puppies are, at least the ones I've seen. But you can make yours smaller if you want or bigger if you desire to have a big puppy. <laughs> but I like to keep mine just fairly below the kneecaps of the normal avatar. Okay, now that we have our scaling done, we're going to click on our um, the bones of our Second Life avatar, this right here. And we're going to press S and we're going to scale it down to about here where its head lines up with the head of our our dog. That's usually about how small I make it. So once we have that done, all the scaling done, we can move on to the next step, which is prepping. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's a problem with this dog that I need to address before we can even get into assigning it bones. When you import a Nintendo dog onto it from Model Resource, it comes into two parts. 
one part is the skin um it's a what do you call it by default these nintendo dogs have two layers under here one is the actual dog and the other is the overlay where the creators would put different skin tones or fur fur tones fur colors and dirt over the dog but these are very very low resolution and it will jack up the overall effect of your dog so we do not want that layer on here we only want the actual base now it's hard to tell which one it is uh, which is which unless you turn on the display the shading and you put texture solid the dog that is textured is the one that you want you want to get rid of that one the shading one because we're probably just going to draw on the texture on it anyway but there's still a problem here our dog is fairly chunky as you can see it's got all these broken up lines and stuff and nobody wants a chunky dog unless it's a corgi <laughs> which we did make a chunky corgi but that's a whole different kind of chunk so we're going to want to clean up this dog a little bit by removing its extra vertice uh, doubles so click on the dog I'm going to push tab and go into edit mode and I'm going to press control no, W on there and then we're going to remove the doubles and as you see it's already smoothed out a bit now another thing I'm going to want to do is press alt J and that is going to give us quad fent it's trista quads but as you see it jacked up its texture but don't worry we'll fix that we're going to check this box here that says compare uvs and that will usually fix the problem now the dog is still fairly low poly it is 914 triangles which is really good but you know maybe we want our dog to be a little less edgy we can always use the uh, subdivision and you see the dog smooths out a bit it jumps up a significant amount in triangles but you know look how smooth your dog is and you don't have to cut your hand as you want to pet it so another thing we want to make sure that we do actually I'm gonna create a new window here we go and we gonna look at this try this again something we want to do is uncheck the survive subdivide UVs and leave it as that that way it keeps it doesn't um some, I can't sorry sorry I want to uncheck this box because sometimes when you subdivide a Nintendo dog um, it subdivides the UV maps as well and when you do that it shoots it outside of the UV texture a little bit and then your dog has lines on it that you can't fix so sometimes if that happens to you when you're working on it you may want to just uncheck the subdivide UVs box and that usually fixes it so I want to hit apply because I want to and now we have our dog well, not the greatest topology but when have we ever cared about topology here at the Mighty Game Co. alright so we have our puppy and our body is ready and it's ready to accept his bones so I'm going to pause this video and we're going to go to the next video which leads into applying a skeleton a basic skeleton to our puppy so see you guys then.